Hey guys, this is Leah with Scott Leroy Marketing, and in today's tip video, I'm going to show you how you can utilize Dot Loop with your KW Command account. So, <clears throat> if you are choosing to uh, pay for Dot Loop to continue to use that, or if your market center has extended their contract with Dot Loop, you can absolutely hook Dot Loop up with KW Command to use that with your command opportunities right away. So first things first, let's make sure that's connected up properly to be, be able to utilize dot loop. So first things first, we need to log in to command at agent.kw.com. <clears throat> that's where I am on my screen. All right, so we're logging in to agent.kw.com. And of course, feel free to pause the video if you are still working on logging in. Okay, you can pause the video anytime if you're needing to catch up. I know that helps me when I'm learning something. Okay, so we need to make sure that dot loop is connected up to our command apps. So to check on that, we'll click on our name on the very top right of command and then click on settings. So your name on the top right of command and then settings from that drop down. And that will take you on over to the apps that you currently have connected to command or that you can hook up further. So on the top here, we'll show you your connected app. So if you are seeing dot loop near the top of this list, okay, and you might see your dot loop email address here, it shows me a status of connected, okay. So I'm good to go to go ahead and use dot loop with command. <clears throat> now off default from what I've seen, dot loop does not automatically display in the apps here. So if you're not, if you scroll through and are not seeing dot loop as an option to hook up, Right, how you'll connect that is we'll actually come up to this marketplace option. Okay, so we'll click on this little marketplace option on the top right of your command account. And that will open a new tab for marketplace.kw.com. This is a pretty cool section where you can go to uh, get further apps to link up with KW Command to further the features. So in this case, uh, what I want to do first is go ahead and hover over your name on the top right and then just make sure to go ahead and select your name from the drop down here okay to refresh that to confirm that it's you that's going through and connecting a new account All right, and then I can use the search feature on the top right here to go ahead and search for dot loop <clears throat> I can click on the dot loop option here and I already have it connected, but in theory, it would say something like authorize or connect or whatever it might say here to connect that up. Now, if it is instead saying request access here, okay, all you need to do instead is come back up to your name on the top right and click on your name from that drop down to refresh to let them know, let the account know it's you requesting it. And then you should be able to add it yourself from there. If you have any trouble with that, go ahead and email support at scottlorymarketing.com. We're more than happy to help. <clears throat> but that should add the dot loop account or option over here and you may need to go ahead and you know click connect account on the right hand side to put in your dot loop login but we do want to make sure that we see our dot loop account linked up here all right so that does need to be done if you're utilizing dot loop from there you can come over to the opportunities section of kw command all right so the opportunities section is a little handshake icon on the left hand side Okay, so again, about, that's about halfway down the list on the left-hand side, and if I hover my mouse over that, I can see that's the opportunity section here. So we'll want to go ahead and create an opportunity on the top right here. Now, if you have existing loops from dot loop that you want to pull in to your command opportunity, you can import that in on the top right here. Uh, just a couple notes on that. All it does to import that in, that's just importing the details that does not import the, um, the documents from dot loop. All it does is really create the opportunity for you and add in any, you know, listing details like the property address and so forth. Um, if you also, if you click this import option, it will always link the, uh, opportunity to the existing loop. Okay. So you'll really only want to do that for if you have any active transactions that you need to pull over to KW command. Other than that, if you're starting a new transaction, we'll click Create Opportunity on the top right. And we just have to fill out the fields that have a red star here, the red asterisk. Okay, so if you're in more than one market center, make sure you're selecting the correct market center. If you're on a team, you can select the team name. 
We have an opportunity type of listing or buyer. I'll go ahead and select buyer for this example, but you can do either one. Owner, a little confusing. That's not talking about the owner of the property. Okay, that's talking about the owner of the opportunity. So that'll always be your name unless you're on a team. Then it will say your team leader's name, okay, the rainmaker's name, and then you'll be listed as an assignee. Client. So you would have to have the contact already entered into your command contacts, just a heads up, to go ahead and pull their name and select them from that drop down. Okay, so one more time, they do have to be in your command contact database already in order for them to pull up in this client section here. Just a heads up. You can do the same for a co-buyer. Opportunity name, if you need to add the address, you can here. And we'll scroll down, right? We are just filling in the red stars here. So we'll do a commission rate of 3%. An opportunity phase, an opportunity stage, you're just picking where on the sales pipeline that you want this opportunity to go. Okay, And we have a whole opportunity class that will give you much more detail on that. If you'd like that, feel free to check it out. And we'll click Create. So now I am in the opportunity details. And guys, I know that was a little fast going through it, so feel free to pause the video so you can really you know, go through each field, take your time and read that. Okay, I don't mean to overwhelm you by any means. So, um, But now we are in the opportunity details here. So in order to link this up to dot loop, okay, if you're trying to create a new loop, we'll come to the document section here. It's that document section on the top toolbar. And then um, on the right hand side, excuse me, you'll see it says start a transaction. So we'll go ahead and click start a transaction and you'll be given the option potentially of DocuSign and dot loop if you have both accounts linked up. Just a heads up, it, once you select one of these options, this opportunity will always be either linked up to dot loop or it will always either be linked up to DocuSign, okay? So there's really no going back on this one. So if you are using dot loop, then you'll want to go ahead and select that from this drop down. Okay, and then we'll click on go to transaction. And that might prompt you to go ahead and log in. Okay, that typically does the first time that you go to log in. <clears throat> and that'll take you to a loop that it creates for you. All right, so now we've created a uh, loop right from the opportunity, so that will always sync up to your opportunity within KW Command. All right, so I'm going to quickly just add in a, a, um, a document real quick just so I can show you guys the next little tip of this video, and that is how to then add documents from dot loop into your KW Command opportunity. Okay. Oops. All right, so now that I have that document added in, okay, so let's say if this were an actual transaction, I would be utilizing dot loop at this point to correspond with my client to get forms electronically signed, right, to type in my forms and so forth. All right, so once I have the form signed by my clients, I need to add the forms to my opportunity in KW command to submit that for review to my office staff for compliance review. Okay, that's how we get our commission check at the end, which is always good. So in order to do that, okay, so the next step, once you get your form signed, is we need to submit our forms for review in KW command. So dot loop is a separate tab here. So I'm switching tabs back to the command documents tab. And then again, I'm still in the documents section, right? We access dot loop by clicking go to a transaction on the right side. All right, so if we now need to add in documents, we'll go ahead and click pick checklist type on the left hand side. And these checklists right here are audit, added in by your office staff, okay? So yours will be different um, than mine are, since you're in a different market center, but you'll go ahead and select the checklist that you'd like to pull in. So on the left-hand side here, so we have the sale file. So that's what I selected since I'm doing a buyer transaction here. 
So I have three separate um, different files or different checklists on the left hand side and depending on which one I, I select, it will show me a list of basically what I need to be in compliance. So these are not the actual forms. These are placeholders, right? See how it shows you not uploaded. Here's the document it wants. It's an agreement. And all I need to do is click add file to the far right here to pull that in from DocuSign, I'm sorry, dot loop right away, excuse me. All right, so next to the offer to purchase, let's say I'm going to click add a file. So it's going to give me a few options here. I can either manually drag and drop this in or browse my computer. Or in this case, the easier way is I'm going to select dot loop. Okay, and that will then pull up all the forms that you have in that loop we created specifically. So I'll go ahead and click on that form and click assign to associate that form from my dot loop account, from this loop to this right here. And now I can see that's uploaded. Okay. And just a quick tip, you can do this even faster by clicking attach multiple files at the top. So then it would allow you to pull from either manual or pull from dot loop here. This is pretty cool. This is a newer feature. And then to the right of each one of these placeholders, right, or each one of these checklists, you'll have a, a um, drop down that you can select the form from there to associate the form in your loop to this, um, to the, this associated form here to submit that for review. Okay, so that's how you can do multiple at once. And once you're ready to submit this to your Market Center review, we'll just go ahead and click Submit to MC on the very top right to submit that right away. All right, guys, so that is how you can utilize dot loop with KW command right away. If you have any questions on that, feel free to email support at scottleroymarketing.com, and we'd be more than happy to help you through this. Okay, guys, stay healthy, wash hands, stay home. Take care, guys.